this discussion, we will discuss the discussion question of Describe the pros and cons of financing using bonds. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. Now, when we see a discussion question like this or an essay question like this, we really see the pros and cons and you got to kind of imagine against what? What are we pros and cons in against? Obviously, in this case, we want financing, meaning we're trying to generate revenue or not revenue, but money for the company. So obviously, the main way we would like to get money is through revenue, is through generating income. But if we need to finance the, bu the business in some other way, we need cash in some other way, then we have some options. One would be bonds. We can issue bonds. But we can compare and contrast that when we have the pros and cons against the other ways that we finance the company. So other way, if it's a company, we could also issue stock. So that's another thing that we can compare and contrast against. And or we can take a loan out uh, of the, for the company as well. So those are the other ways we can get money for the company. So what are the pros and cons then of bonds in comparison to these other things? Now the bonds are going to be most similar to kind of a note because it, it, the bonds, and we might want to start there, what is a bond, right? A bond is going to be, uh, a, we're going to receive money from, uh, from individuals who are investing in the bond and we're going to uh, pay back an obligation. A bond is an obligation to pay. Typically we're going to pay back the principal of the bond at the end and some type of fixed interest uh, throughout the life of the bond. So it's a promise to repay in exchange for cash, so financing options. Now that's going to be very similar to a note uh, where we're going to have a, a similar type of agreement. The major difference and the major pro from a bond to a note is that a bond can really be issued to more than just uh, just the bank. We can, we can actually go to the public and go on an exchange and possibly issue uh, bonds for a corporation. So we may have more ability to, to get to more people, more financing options r rather than just a bank if we were to issue bonds. So that's one benefit of the bond over a note whereas if we go for a note if we want to get a loan we typically have to go to the bank and deal with the uh, the bank terms in terms of the loan the financing however is going to be very similar in that we are going to have to pay back we're going to get money and we're going to have to promise to pay back in some form or the other uh, the interest and the principal now the other way we can finance of course is with stocks and what's the difference there what happens with stocks well with stocks we would issue the stock and we would get money for the issuance of the stock, which is a great deal because we don't have to pay anything back if we do that, and that's great. We just get money, we don't have to pay anything back. What's the downside of issuing stock? Well, we're giving away equity interest in the, in the company. That means we're giving away um, potential rights to dividends, we're giving away potential voting rights in the company. They have control or, or voting rights on, on decisions within the company and claims to if there's a you know any net value of the company if there's a liquidation they get they have claims to to that so we're giving away some control in the company in that case and that's a big trade-off so a loan a loan or a bond you got to pay back interest and principal which is not good we don't like that as opposed to stocks where you don't have to pay back interest and principal however with stocks you're giving away some control some ownership in the company which typically you know, we don't want to do that. We'd want to keep control of the company and still get financing. <laughs> Whereas in a bond or a loan, we don't have to give away control of the company. Uh, so that's going to be the major trade-off between, between those two things. Now, the other thing with a bond is we have to pay interest on it. So we're basically renting money. We're getting money from, from investors. And the only reason they're giving us that money, they're loaning us purchasing power, which we then have to pay interest on. So that's a disadvantage of a bond. We got to pay interest. We got to pay rent on the money. Um, so that's a disadvantage. One of the pros of that, however, there's a silver lining, I guess, of sorts, and that's going to be that the interest that we pay is usually tax deductible, meaning it's going to lower our taxable income because it's an expense. 
and therefore lower our taxes. We at least get to deduct the expenses. Now again, that doesn't make it good. We don't like to pay interest. We're still gonna have to pay back the interest. The tax deduction is not gonna counter out the fact that we're paying interest. But at least if we're paying interest, we get to we get to deduct it and lower the amount of taxes based on uh, because of the interest that we're paying. 